For over 30 years, seniors from across the globe have competed in world-class sporting events, and despite taking a year off, it's not over. Welcome back to the Huntsman World Senior Games in St. George, Utah, where athletes leading an active lifestyle continue to compete. We had the timeout last year, but we're back this year and ready to go. We have over 10,000 athletes doing what they do the best. Senior athletes from across the world have traveled to St. George to participate in the sports of their liking. Despite taking a year off, the events this year are operating under pandemic restrictions. Long lines were seen on the first day of registration where masks and social distancing were recommended indoors. We're asking people to wear masks while they're inside. Um, we're not requiring it outside and we're not requiring it during the actual competition. So we're kind of following the protocol that we saw at the Olympic Games where the athletes didn't compete with masks but outside of that competition then they put those on and we felt like that was kind of the right way forward with everything that's going on with COVID-19. Again to try to keep people safe but also comfortable and able to compete at the level that they want to. Volunteers were also helping to keep the athletes moving handing out t-shirts and welcome packets. Right after they get out of registration, they come in here to the welcome bags and shirts and then right into the gift shop. And then right across is our sports den that has a board for every specific sport in there for some additional information. Ambassadors that help recruit new participants to these games enjoy spreading the word about the world's largest senior events on the planet. It's fun. I've met people from Russia, from Japan, from all of the diff different countries. I've participated against them and with them. And it is, it is just an absolute joy. Athletes who have longevity in the Huntsman World Senior Games were paraded through the lobby of the Dixie Convention Center with bagpipes leading the way. They were recognized for their endurance and dedication to the worldwide sporting events. Softball, tennis, track, soccer, duathlon. John Wonderly. Those who spent 30 years or longer received a sports jacket. I have no question that this is the best event in the world. Um, I was in it when it first began. And I did the legal work to, 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 get, the, uh, uh, to get it incorporated and get the, uh, our tax exemption and uh, uh, did a lot of recruiting. I was 47 years old at the time and I just couldn't wait to turn 50. I think the biggest thing that's kept me going, I have a passion. I, I just have a passion for sports. I, you know, I, I enjoy that. It's still fun going across the finish line, no matter at what speed. You know, I'm kind of in the back now, but it doesn't matter. I've met a whole bunch of real nice people from all over the world, and it's just been fun. It's something I've related to uh, uh, for a long time. Um, good stories, stories that make you laugh. And <laughs> Those who have been competing here for 25 years were given a personalized Red Rock statue. And the men and women who have been at these games for at least 20 years were given a his or her commemorative watch. Dozens of World Senior Game rings were also awaiting their recipients for those who have dedicated 15 years to the Senior Games. And, and you know, if someone would have told me 15 years ago that I'd be here 15 years later playing softball, I probably wouldn't have believed them. But uh, now I'm looking forward to another 15. Events begin on Monday in 35 sports. So. Let the games begin. Yeah.